There's nothing worse than expecting a hot shower and getting hit with ice cold water because your tankless water heater suddenly shut off. Well, if that sounds familiar, don't worry. You've clicked the right video. We're going to break down the top reasons why your tankless water heater might be cutting out and what to look out for when troubleshooting. <laughs> From Nord's to Navian to all other brands, we know the common reasons why units shut down and we're to help you troubleshoot the issues quickly. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing as we're always putting out new videos on common issues and solutions for the trade every week. Now let's dive in. A tankless water heater can shut down for the following reasons. Number one, power loss. Two, ignition failure. Three, overheating. Four, water flow sensor malfunction. Five, venting obstruction. Six, system error codes. Before you start inspecting the unit, let's go over each of these so you have a clear checklist for diagnosing the issue and know where to focus. It's important to note that if the unit shuts off, your hot water taps will still run, but they only deliver cold water until the system is inspected and repaired. Let's kick it off with number one, power loss. One of the most common causes of tankless water heater shutdowns is a lack of power. Gas units need consistent supply of natural gas to operate. If that supply is interrupted or the lines obstructed, the unit will cut out. For electric tankless units, power interruptions from outages, trip breakers, or loose connections are common causes. For electric units, it's sometimes worth looking into an electrical panel upgrade to ensure it can handle the system's load. Moving on to number two, ignition failure. Ignition failure is another reason tankless units shut down. If you're working on a gas unit, check the burner assembly for any defective parts. The igniter provides the spark, so if it's worn out, it's likely time for a replacement. And number three on our list is overheating. When a tankless water heater overheats, it'll shut off to prevent scalding or damage. This safety feature relies on flame sensors and a thermal fuse. Live scale buildup is a big culprit here, especially in areas with hard water, as it forces the heat exchanger to work harder. A water softener can help extend the unit's lifespan by reducing lime scale buildup. Jumping over to number four, excessive water flow. If the demand for hot water exceeds the tankless unit's capacity, it may shut off as a precaution. These systems use sensors to monitor water flow and will power down if too much water is flowing. Each tankless model has a specific gallons per minute or GPM capacity. If several fixtures are running simultaneously, you could exceed the system's GPM, resulting in low water pressure. Number five, obstructed venting. Proper venting is essential for tankless systems, especially gas-powered units that need airflow to maintain safe combustion. If exhaust or air intake is obstructed, the unit can detect that and shut off as a safety measure. Keep vents clear of dirt, debris, or anything that might restrict airflow. Remember, proper venting also helps prevent carbon monoxide leaks, which is critical for any gas-powered system. And finally, number six, error codes. Check for any error codes that may appear on the control panel. These codes can give you a direct clue about the issue, though they vary by brands such as Noritz, Navian, or Ream. If you see an error code, it's best to call the manufacturer's dedicated support line to handle the reset and address the underlying issue. Turning off and turning on the unit won't solve the problem permanently. So there you have it folks, the most common reasons why a tankless water heater might shut off. Whether it's a power loss, a sensor issue, or a venting problem, knowing these signs will help you get to the root of the issue faster and prepare you for the next tankless water heater that you may work on. If you're experiencing or know of a tankless water heater issue that we did not cover here, make sure to put it down below in the comments. And if you're here to learn, don't forget to like and subscribe for more trade tips and troubleshooting videos each week.